Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. If you are new here then hello, my name is Millie. I make videos just like this all the time. I post three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday but today is all about the Christmas makeup. I got a comment a little while ago from a lovely lady wanting some Christmas party makeup inspiration so that's exactly what we're doing today in that comment she said that she was going to be wearing a black sparkly dress i don't own a black sparkly dress so i've just put this one on this is probably what i'm going to be wearing for christmas day this year so it's the closest thing that we're getting to a christmas party frock so this makeup look is all the trends basically all of the trends that we're like seeing come to the forefront at the minute We've got glitter, we've got cool tones, duochromes, all of those sorts of things. Very sort of soft, natural skin and a very glam eye and also a lot of highlight. That's the vibe that we're going for today. So let's just dive straight on in. I'm going to be starting with the eyes. So obviously the Beauty Bay eye base all over the eyes first. I have already done all of my skincare so about 20 minutes ago I did all my skincare and the last step in my skincare routine was the Beauty Bay 5% Squalene Grapeseed Oil Serum Hybrid this is absolutely fantastic if you have dry skin you need that it's so so nice um, but I do like to give it plenty of time to soak in so I did that about 20 minutes ago and I'm also obviously giving it all of the time whilst I'm doing my eyes first so that's the eye primer all blended out and then I'm just quickly going to do my brows I'm just going to do the pencil and I'll do the gel at the end so I'm gonna use I'm like looking in my little tub down here what brows do I want today I think I'll just use my Catrice eyebrow stylist pencil in 025 perfect brown so I'll be right back once I've penciled in my eyebrows okay so we're not judging the brows that was a struggle and I'm still not happy with them I'm just gonna pretend that they're not living on my face so let me zoom you in and we can do the eyes so the eyeshadow palette that i'm using for the eyes today is the beauty bay neutral palette obviously i've got the 42 pan use whatever you've got i'm going to be using more of these like cooler gray tones down at the bottom so obviously that's the vibe that we're going for today so let me clear a bit of space on my table and we can start so firstly i'm going to be dipping into this shade here called suede just a really light sort of neutrally gray and i'm using a quite big fluffy brush just dipping into that and i'm going to tap off the excess and work that through my crease obviously i'm going to be sort of cleaning up on like the underneath in the outer corner so I'm not too worried about blending this out or being like too careful in this sort of outer area here I'm just getting the colour on and starting the shape that I want which is obviously going to be a very sort of sharp lifted smoky sort of a look on the outer corner so then next I'm taking a much smaller, more precise fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Heather, which is this one on the bottom corner. So this was the first one and this is the second one that I'm using and I'm just keeping this more in the crease, keeping it more precise and I'm just building up that depth right in the crease so i'm looking like straight forwards pretty much straight forwards into my mirror to really create that shadow in the crease so then once that darker gray color is in the crease i'm just going back over with the first brush to really blend out like above it and around it no more color on but just to really soften all of that so we're getting a little bit deeper we're getting a little bit darker now I'm going to go in with that same smaller fluffy brush 
into this shade up here called Cowboy, which is a darker brown, but it's not warm. It's still a very cool toned brown. I don't want to go straight into the black yet. Um, we'll get there, but I want to just go in with a bit of a brown first on the lid and sort of working it up to those darker shades. So you can see it's still quite cool toned. And just tapping that in and working it up to that darker grey that we put in the grease. And then again, once that colour is down, I'm going back in with that first brush. So I'm like flipping between the two brushes constantly to blend, apply a bit more colour and blend. But I'm keeping that darker brown on the lid and just sort of on the outer half-ish. And just making sure whenever I put a new colour down, everything is really nicely blended out. And then lastly, with that very, very small brush, I'm dipping into the shade Jet, which is that darkest black. And I'm taking the tiniest little bit right on the very end. And I'm just going to deepen up the very, very outer corner, but just with the tiniest, tiniest amount of that black shade just right on the very very outer corner and again blend <laughs> and then with that tiniest brush once I haven't got any more product on there and it's already like mostly blended out I am just encouraging <laughs> that black shade to sort of go out into the like wing shape that I'm going to be doing with like a liquid liner in a minute but I want it to be like a smoky liner so winging out that black shade a little bit so it's got a little bit of that shape that we're going for but it's not too harsh and there's like no lines or anything and then I think that's pretty much the eyeshadow done just a little bit more blending so I am done with all of that blending now I'm really happy with how that's looking i'm happy with the depth that we've got on the outer corner but it's still really nice and bright and pretty much completely bare on the inner corner and now i'm going in with the liquid eyeshadow did you think that i could do a party look without a beauty bay liquid eyeshadow because you would be wrong so this is one of the new ones from their metamorphic collection it's the shade surreal it's the lightest one and i'm just going to take a fluffy sort of quite small but still quite dense brush and i'm going to take the actual eyeshadow off the applicator get it onto the fluffy brush not too much at first we're going to build this up in layers really work it into the bristles of this eyeshadow brush and then just going to tap it onto that bare area on the first half of the eye. So this is where the sparkle element comes in. <laughs> and you do need to work sort of semi quickly with these. I probably left that one a little bit too long on that eye before blending it out. And I do feel like if you sort of blend this up to the crease and not past it it's a little bit more subtle but also you can take it like right up into like almost into your eyebrow if you want something really intense and really like impactful so that is one little layer it's gone a little bit patchy but like i say that's just me like not having like my mirror and everything ready because i'm trying to explain it whilst i'm doing it you will be much better at this than I am. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with a little bit more just to see if I can get rid of that little bit of patchiness that I've got on the lid there. So that is me done with the glitter. I'm just going to take a cotton pad and a little bit of micellar water. I'm going to use the Revolution Micellar with Aloe Vera um, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and like clean up this outer corner just really sharpen that up i might want a little bit more 
of that black. I think I probably will. <laughs> the hard task here is knowing when to stop. Like you can keep going and going and going until you've got no eyeshadow left. <laughs> Just to try and make them equal. But yes, I do think I want a little bit more of the darkest grey or maybe even that brown on the very outer corner so it is just a case of going in adding a little bit at a time <laughs> don't go overboard you can always add more until i'm happy with the amount of smokiness sometimes it's hard to tell before you like clean it up so obviously it was dark here but there isn't anything there anymore so just adding a tiny little bit more of that depth. I'm using that dark brown cowboy, so adding a little bit more of that. Obviously all of this here will be covered with a black liner <laughs> in a minute. And I'm like basically joining this up with the end of my eyebrow. That's like how dark and smoky I want this to be. I want it to be really intensely dark out there because it's a party. If you can't join your eyeshadow up with your eyebrows at a party, then when can you? Yes, I feel happy with that now. So I'm going to go off and do my liner. Obviously, I'm using the Profusion Everlasting Waterproof Liquid Liner. I'm also going to do a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara just on the upper lashes. So I will do these two steps and then I will be right back. Okay, so that is the liner and mascara done. I am going to do lashes, <laughs> she says. Um, I may change my mind at the end, but that is just like one coat of mascara. Obviously, if I wasn't doing lashes, I would do another couple of layers of mascara, but that is what the eyes are looking like. Super glam, super cool toned. Let's zoom out and we can do the rest of the face. So for primer, I'm going in with the Revolution CC Swell Primer and I'm just going to tap this across all of this awful redness that I've got on my skin at the minute. Honestly, my skin is going through it at the minute, so definitely need some sort of colour correcting primer to help me out a lot but more than anything this primer is just so lovely and hydrating and that is what i need <laughs> and the foundation that i'm using is probably my all-time favorite foundation can you guess what it is it's the sleek in your tone foundation i have this in the shade 2n so i'm just going to take a couple of pumps of this i think i might be running out and i'm going to use a makeup sponge so we're going for sort of light medium coverage just enough to cover over the redness but I don't actually want the skin to be too full coverage I don't really like that on myself a very very full coverage even with all of these awful spots that I've got going on at the minute um I just want something to even out my skin tone a little bit but I don't want it to be too heavy like if I was going to a Christmas party or like if it is Christmas day I don't want a mask of makeup on it's just not gonna be comfortable <laughs> so that is the foundation all blended out you can still see my skin texture you can still see a little bit of the redness but it just makes the skin look really nice and fresh and natural but just everything knocked back a little bit i cannot stop going on about that foundation truly i tried it earlier in the year and i haven't stopped using it since i also haven't stopped using this it's the 17 second skin enhancing concealer who would have thought i would pick this i'm just going to put a little bit around my eyes and on some of the more prominent spots not all of them <laughs> just the ones that are bothering me the most <laughs> and again just using the sponge to blend the concealer in as well and then that is what the skin is looking like so we're so like fresh looking it's really nice and glowy we've got that hydrating primer 
but the spots and things are just camouflaged a little bit like you can still you know I've still got a second head on my jaw but you can't see it quite as much so perfectly happy with how all that's looking this is the contouring bronzer that I'm wanting to use today the collection filter finish liquid wand in the lightest shade obviously <laughs> and I'm just going to do a little bit on the cheeks and the forehead blended out with a Real Techniques Expert face brush so put the lid on that before <laughs> before it goes everywhere and let's blend this in and because I have this second head growing on my jaw I'm not going to contour I might just do a little bit <laughs> I was about to say I won't contour my jaw but I will just do a little bit right under that double chin but other than that I just want the like warmth and that colour on like the outsides of my face I might just put a little bit on my nose just a tiny tiny little bit I don't like doing too much like nose contour or anything like that and I'm definitely not like precise with it but just a little bit just a touch <laughs> feel like the more I do the more is likely to go wrong with like nose contour and things like that so honestly I'd rather just not <laughs> so then I'm just bouncing the makeup sponge sort of underneath that to like you know sharpen it back up again and that is that step done and then same but different with the blush wand the collection filter finish liquid blush wand and this is in berry glow so again i'm just gonna tap a little bit of this on here and blend it out with another real techniques expert face brush so the blush is adding a little bit of glow i am going to be going in with a highlight as well obviously <laughs> but if you didn't want to like you wouldn't necessarily need to that blush is so beautiful like it gives the perfect amount of glow if you're wanting something just really soft and natural and lit from within all of those things not what i am going for for like a party look but <laughs> absolutely gives a glow i am just going to set under the eyes a tiny tiny little bit with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Ooh, the new one. If I don't throw it everywhere, I'm just going to use a little puff. And I just want a tiny bit of powder. I do want the skin to be really nice and glowy because I just feel like this time of year our skin or my skin let me just talk for myself <laughs> this time of year my skin is so dry honestly i want everything to just add a glow this isn't necessarily mattifying i don't feel like this powder like mattifies or like dries me out like i did just put a little bit sort of here you can see that blush is still peeking through you can still see the glow from it but if I'm going to a Christmas party, I'm probably going to be dancing all night, so I want my makeup to last. I'm just going to tap back over with that brush that I used for the blush, just to sort of reinvigorate it a little bit after I've put that powder on. And then at this stage, I'm going to go in with a little bit of setting spray. So this is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I have like, I mean, it's probably going to be empty after I've used it now, but I'm just going to spray over all of that. This is such a beautiful mist. Oh, I did just go a little bit crazy though. <laughs> that's better so the mist just sort of i don't say rehydrates because like my skin wasn't feeling dry but it just sort of zhuzhes everything up a little bit and really makes it sink into the skin so at this point i'm going to just finish up under the eyes and i've 
put everything on top of this eyeshadow palette. One moment. So I'm going in with a tiny little sort of liner brush into the Heather shade, that dark grey, and I'm going to just stamp this along the lower lash line right next to the lashes and join it up with that wing so it's dark it's smoky that's how i like my lower lash line to be you don't have to you could you could absolutely leave it just as what you've got on the lid but i really like having a dark smoky under eye i think it just makes it look so glam so dramatic really makes it into more of a party look so i'm just stamping that all the way along and then i'll go in with more of like a smudgier brush no more color on it but just to really smudge it out and then i can go in with more if i want it any darker which i probably do <laughs> I'm going to go in with a little bit of that cowboy shade, the darker brown, and just stamp that more so on the outer third-ish. And then again, I will smudge it out with that other brush. So that is the under eye done. We're looking so dark and smoky now. I absolutely am here for it. I'm going to just put a little bit of that mascara on the lower lashes and then we can get into trying to apply some falsies. It's been a while. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> so the lashes that I'm attempting to apply today are the Essence Light as a Feather 3D Faux Mink lashes. So that's what they look like. I really enjoy Essence lashes. I have had a few pairs over the years and I just really like the shape of them, I like the size of them, I like that they're very affordable, they come with glue, all good things. So let me take the glue out to show you. That is what they look like. I think I'm probably going to cut these ones down. They look like they're going to be a little bit long for me but I'm going to go off and apply these. I will see you in approximately half an hour. <laughs> okay, so that is not my finest work. I do feel like I have definitely stuck those more onto my own natural lashes rather than my eyelids. But <laughs> that's that done. I want to just finish off my brows now. So going back in with that brow pencil to just go back over this front section where maybe my foundation has gone over like the front of my brows a little bit just put those little hair like strokes back in and then once I've done that I just want a little bit of brow gel and then the brows are done so I'm going in with the elf wow brow in the shade brunette and I'm just going to work a little bit of that through the brows because I do feel like when you do your brows early on in the whole application routine obviously like your foundation gets in your brows your powders anything like that and I just feel like a tinted brow gel at the end just fluffs them back up gives them a bit more colour and I don't think I could live without my elf wow brow now <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again it is one of the best products I have ever had the pleasure of using <laughs> I feel so much more confident when I've got a little bit of my elf wow brow through just feel like it just finishes off everything really nicely apart from that little splodge of it that I just got there and I've got two lip options I would love to know with this sort of look what lip would you do I'm feeling like it's Christmas so a red <laughs> but I do have a nude option as well if you're feeling like you just need to dial it down a little bit so I'm going to do the nude option first so I do actually have a bit of lip balm on just wipe that off before we start so the lip liner that i'm going to use is the elf cream glide lip liner in truth or bear and i'm just going to draw the lips on 
So that's just the lip liner and then I'm going to just squiggle in the lips with the Beauty Crop Smoothie Stick Lip Crayon in the shade Perfect Nude, like pear, like the fruit. <laughs> and that is the nude option. So I feel like if I just take these clips out then we'll get the idea. So I've done like a little half up, sort of messy, undone sort of a hairstyle and I feel like I am Christmas party ready now. So this is the nude option and like I say I definitely want <laughs> something a little bit brighter red for Christmas. I do forgotten to put highlighter on I'm going to I'm just gonna grab my favorite highlighter <laughs> and just put a little bit of this on so this is the revolution highlight reloaded in just my type and I will load up a brush with that and really make my skin glow that's better you know and you're looking and you're like I've definitely forgotten something <laughs> it's the highlight so really really worked that into the skin added a lot more glow and now i can say that that is the final look with the nude lip option but i'm gonna do a red <laughs> and for the lip liner for the red i would recommend the cream glide lip liner in the red shade which I can't remember the name of it's in my bag downstairs and honestly I can't be bothered to go and get it so I'm just going to use the love triangle one they're very similar the cream glide ones are just cheaper so I'm going to use the elf love triangle lip filler liner in the shade red rouge red or rouge whichever and I'm going to not talk whilst I do this. <laughs> Be right back. And I've just coloured the lips in a little bit with the lip liner and then for the lip stick I'm going in with the MUA Satin Sheen Lip Stylo in Razzleberry. Mm. And these are honestly the most comfortable, glossy feeling but so incredibly pigmented lip sticks almost feels like a lip gloss like a balmy sort of lip like it just feels like nothing but look at the incredible color and i feel like i'm ready for christmas now this is absolutely the sort of thing that i would do for christmas maybe with a little bit more warmth on the eyes but i think you know if you're wanting something very classic you're wanting something very festive this is absolutely it and obviously the lashes are optional obviously all of it's optional <laughs> you don't have to wear any of this at all but i absolutely love it let me know which lip option you would choose i think it's obvious which one i would choose but i would love to know what you would choose as well if there's any other sort of christmasy looks that you would like to see then please do leave a comment down below i am more than happy to do a few more christmasy looks over the next couple of weeks <laughs> up until the big day if you are new here i would love it if you would subscribe if you've made it to the very very end of this video I just want to say a huge huge thank you it really does mean the absolute world to me if you stick around until the very end I know that this is probably going to be quite a long video I've been filming for nearly two hours so hopefully I can cut it down at least a little bit but until next time thank you ever ever so much for watching bye